Well, parents of athletes in the Coquille School District will no longer have to pay fees to let their kids participate in school sports. KZI 9 News reporter Tyler Jones shows us why the school district made this decision. With this decision by the Coquille School Board, it means that parents of kids like these high school soccer players will no longer have to stress about balancing their life expenses as well as making sure their kids are able to play school sports. Before removing the pay to participate model, parents had to pay $75 per high school student and $50 per middle school student per sport. Board member Matt Rao says he wants to take care of the essential things that he feels students need. The fundamental things I think every student ought to have, just as the bare basics, the bare bones, are good teachers, uh, access to school books uh, for all students, regardless of income and cost, uh, a warm lunch, and access to extracurriculars without, a, without the, the, uh, a strong financial obligation on the parents. And now the district has made it so that no parent has to pay for their kids to participate in sports. The district will be taking care of the estimated $25,000 that it would cost out of their $13 million general fund. Superintendent Tim Sweeney says it just adds to the list of things that they've been doing for the students and their families. So we give all our students three free meals a day. Um, and we now have done this step, getting away from pay to play. We provided, last year alone, we provided 1,300 college credits to high school seniors at no cost to the families. Parents and guardians I spoke with say it takes care of a burden that they've had for years. It is a big burden. That's a couple hundred dollars a year out of, out of your income, and now we can buy food with that, pay our house payments. Sweeney says with the economy the way it is and the amount of enrollment that they're currently getting, there is no reason that they should have to go back to a pay-to-play system anytime, even within the next decade. In Coquille, Tyler Jones, KEZI 9 News.